Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Ami. You have a high aptitude question. If you are targeting 99 point plus score in the CAT, JAT, looking for the Olympiad, RMO, or any other high aptitude test, a question you must solve. This comes under the mathematical reasoning. This is reasoning as well as mathematics. So question is in front of you. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video, you have read the question and you tried the question or you might be Google this question. If you Google happy number, you will get the same definition in Wikipedia. So this one is a definition taken from the Wikipedia with the same example in the Wikipedia. If you check or you count the, all the numbers, you will get answer is nothing but 20. Now, okay, so this comes also under the properties of number. But if this type of question will come in your examination, how do we solve the question? Because we are not able to remember all these values, all the properties of numbers. So this question is a perfect iteration question. For example, 19 is a happy number. So 1 square plus 9 square is 82. That is 8 square plus 2 square is 68. Then summation is nothing but 1. So if you analyze the sequence, we can say if 19 is a happy number, 91 is also a happy number. Again, 82 must be happy number because the summation going to 1. So we can say 28 also happy number. Similarly, 68 and 86 are the happy number. Or we can say 100 or 10 is also happy number. So if you find any happy number, then the all permutations of that number would be a happy number. I hope it is okay. So we are not going to start with the number. Since the summation is 1, we are going to start with the 1 and we'll count how many happy numbers do we have. So start with 1. If summation is 1, then we have nothing but just two numbers up to 100. That is 10 and 100. So we got the two numbers. There's no other permutations. If it is 10, then we can say we have nothing but 13 and 31. Or 31 and 13. For the 100, we have nothing but 68 and 86. That is the simple Pythagoras. 68, 6, 10. So we got this. But we can say 31 and 13. Why not include 130? Why not include 130? Why I included 130? Because the summation, the maximum square can go up to 162. That is 99. I don't know 99 is a happy number or not. But the summation of the two perfect squares in the digital sum can go up to 162. So I'm going to include 130. But I am not going to count 130. So I say 130 could be one value, but I'm not going to count. Anyway, and we have to work on the manual calculation heat and trial. For the 31, like the 130, 130 is nothing but the summation of, we can say 69.7. Oh, this is a summation of 97 and the 79. So we got two more numbers with the help of 130, but I'm not going to count 130. 31, are we getting any summation and the 31? I don't think so. 25, 6, no. 13, is that 4 or 9? So we have nothing but 23 and 32. 68, are we getting any 68? That is 64. Yep. 8 and 2 and 2 and 8. So this one is how you are going to calculate all these things. And there is no other way of solving this. In CAT, we are getting so many times these type of questions in which we have to do some iteration and solve the question. And we need to counting. Might be this question come or this type of question come in theta where we have to count and we miss any of the case, the answer should be wrong or will awarded as a zero point. If this come under the MCQ, we awarded minus one point. So anyway, if you're targeting 99.99, you must ready with all these questions and you want to solve this question or this type of question, I would say must join the Facebook group and follow us on the Facebook. The link of the Facebook group is given in the description. Okay, so we have 97, 79, 23. Are we getting 86, 81, 5? No. There is no perfect square. Summation would be 86. Now we need to work on the 97. 97 is what? We have nothing but 97 and this one is 30, 81 and 16. Wow. 97 is nothing but 49 and 94. 79. 79 is 64, nothing. So we are not getting any summation as a 79. Now we need to work on 23, 23, 16 and 7, no, 23 is not possible. Now we need to work on 32, 32 is the 16, 16. So we are getting one more 
happy number. 44 is the happy number. 4 is square plus 4 is square 32. This add up to 13. This add up to 10. This add up to 1. Now 82. Are we getting anything on a 82? Yes. 91 and 90. So we are getting 2. Anything on a 28? That is 25, 3. No, two, not 28. Now 49. Do we have anything on a 49? 49 is 0, 7 and 7, 0. We got 2. 94? I don't think we are getting anything on a 94. Then we have 23 summation is end then 44. 36, 8. No, not 44. 19, 16, 3, no. 91 is a prime number, so no. So we need to count how many numbers do we have here. We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no counting, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 happy numbers up to 100. And this one is a manual counting. If you say this one is a donkey process, yes, you can expect cat and dad some donkey process questions. And you, you can check in the previous year cat and dad, there are some questions on the basic manual counting. If you miss the counting, you can lose the marks or either leave the question. So if you are looking for the perfect 100, must follow us on Facebook. We will solve question, we will learn the concept and if you want to join us on WhatsApp or you want my guidance throughout your process, I will come with one strategy for all of you and one leadership program. So we are coming with a leadership development program for the CAT in a week or so. I know this one is a donkey process and there is no alternate, but even there is no alternate of the hard work in your success. So, success scale hard work. Karo. We are with you. God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.